Jesus Christ is working perfection in every one of those who are following Him, who have the hope of eternal life. He wants to present us as a perfect bride before His Father who is in heaven. I want to share with you some reading from the book of Hebrews. We read in Hebrews chapter 11 about the heroes of faith who endured until the end. And then we read in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Therefore, since we have a, such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, he's talking about those heroes of faith that have gone before. Let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. You have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood in your striving against sin. Sin is the problem. If we sin, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And therefore, Jesus perfects us through discipline and chastisement so that we can share in His holiness. We read verse 5, And you have forgotten the exhortation which is addressed to you as sons. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor faint when you are reproved by Him. For those whom the Lord loves, He disciplines, and He scourges every son whom He receives. It is for discipline that you endure, God deals with you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, of which we all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, we had earthly fathers to discipline us, and we respected them. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time, as seemed best to them. But He disciplines us for our good, so that we may share in His holiness. All discipline for the moment seems not to be joyful, but sorrowful. Yet to those who have been trained by it, afterwards, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. God disciplines all His children. He disciplines us through misfortune, pain and suffering. Things happen in our lives and we cannot understand why these things are happening. It is the hand of God that is disciplining and correcting us. There is no coincidence in the life of a child of God. Whatever happens in your life is the hand of God on your life. He is leading us to holiness, perfection. We read in verse 12, Therefore strengthen the hands that are weak and the knees that are feeble and make straight paths for your feet so that the limb which is lame may not be put out of joint but rather be healed. What does he mean by that? Do not go and look for trouble. Stay on the straight and narrow road. Do not go to those places where you know that you are weak. Do not expose yourself to temptation. But stay away from temptation. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Stay focused on Him and on the prize of eternal life. Or else you will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. He says in verse 14, Pursue peace with all men, and sanctification without which no one will see the Lord. 
without sanctification, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. If we sin, we will perish. And that is why God is working perfection in us through discipline and reproof. Because we have to be a perfect bride for Jesus Christ. Verse 15, he says, See to it that no one comes short of the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springing up causes trouble, and by it many be defiled, that there be no immoral or godless person like Esau, who sold his own birthright for a single meal. For you know that even afterwards, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place for repentance, though he sought it with tears. It was for one sin, one disobedience, that Adam died. It was only one mishap that Esau made that caused him to lose his birthright. One sin can cost you eternity. Jesus requires of us absolute holiness. Adam did not find any room for repentance. He disobeyed God and he perished. The very same God expects of us perfect obedience if we want to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ is preparing a perfect bride to receive a perfect kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. And therefore we have to be perfect. We must allow him to have his way in our lives. We have to yield to him. We have to be utterly holy and obedient to him. We read in verse 28, Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. We must yield to Jesus. We must yield to the Holy Spirit and live in utter holiness. He does not tolerate disobedience because our God is a consuming fire who is working perfection in every one of those who endures until the very end. Only those who endure will win the prize of eternal life. Only those who do the will of God will receive the prize. We read in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36, For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. Only those who endure and do the will of God will receive what was promised, the prize of eternal life. May Jesus bless you.